Guardsmen is a crazy game where we play as this kid who has to make a bunch of tough decisions to choose who's allowed into the city and who's not. For example, this lady wants to enter and she looks nice. But if you look closely, you'll see she's covered in blood. Should we let her in or is she evil? Or this guy who wants to enter, but he has a mysterious box with him. Should we let him in or should we send him to jail? We can actually use an x-ray or a metal detector to check and see what's in the box. We have to make tons of crazy choices in this video and interact with all characters in this game. And we unlock the secret ending to this game and show you what happens when you make super tricky choices. Watch this whole video to see what the best choices are and how you can beat the game too. Let's go! And so it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes. A small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. One disaster after another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision-making. Whoa! <laughs> the urge of knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head, but only after one more critical decision was to be made. A decision of great weight. A decision of immense importance. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of people. What? Oh my god, you've made the wrong choice. You didn't think things through. You've doomed us all. Everything's on fire now. What? We're all covered in fire. How could you have done this to us? We didn't do anything! What do you mean? <laughs> huh? Well. Well. Huh? What? Oh, Dad, I was... Oh, I must have been having a nightmare. Oh, it was just a dream. So, guys, I think we're playing as this character, and we gotta make a bunch of choices in this game to save or destroy the village. Let's get into the story. This is so cool. It's over now, sweetie. But since you're awake... I think it's time you and I had the talk. Huh? Out of one nightmare and into another. <laughs> Sweetie, there comes a time in every young person's life. Well, Dad, you don't have to do this. Huh? When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bed on the goblin ball match down at the pub. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Aw, oh, Dad, do I have to? Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. I want to sail the open sea. I want to fight ogres. I I want to throw rocks at things. You want to throw rocky at things, bro? Look at our friend Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So it looks like our dad is telling us that we have to do his job for a day. You think I didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I had a duty. I had a responsibility. I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed a bet at the goblin ball match down at the pub. Okay. Did he ever win anything? <laughs> Do you think we'd be stuck here if he did? <laughs> but I'm 12. Won't we get in trouble? <laughs> Not if we don't get caught. Come on. I'll show you how to handle anything that comes up. Okay, awesome. Whoa! Lit! Okie dokie. Ready for me to very quickly show you how everything works? Yes, please show us. Oh good, everyone loves a tutorial. <laughs> no time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad, someone's coming. What do we do? Uh, okay. Guess the best way to learn is by doing. Let's just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. <laughs> Whoa! Ah, good morning, Mrs. Abernathy. How's your day today? Plain and boring, as always. <laughs> <laughs> no. Would you mind if Lil looks after you? Oh, not at all. It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Shamish. It's Hamish. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. Okay, so guys, our dad is teaching us how to do our job and how the game works. He says, when someone approaches the guard shed, they're going to start by telling us about them. And then we're going to have to make choices and decide what happens to them. Guys, this game's going to be awesome. Make sure to stick around. We're going to show you guys the full gameplay and the secret ending. Let's get into it. I'd like to state my business. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once a week. Oh, would you like one? Yes. Donuts! 
Yeah. Oh. Or is that a cinnamon roll? Oh, Foxy. Yeah, I love cinnamon rolls. Okay, so guys, we got an item for our inventory too. Nice. Cool. After they state their business, it's pretty much your call what to do next. You can select them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get it, right? Okay, so after they tell us what they're doing, we can choose what to do. We can ask them questions or we can use the phone on the wall, but you can get three actions. You can only do three things at a time, okay? Not really. What do we need tools for? You can pick one and it does something. Come on, Lil. I've really got to speed this along. The Goblin Ball game is about to start. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you? Oh, no, not at all, dear. I don't mind helping out. But the princess is whirly gigging the ceremonial first slingshot. <gasps> she is? Sweet jumping jitters, we gotta get to that game. Let's wrap this up, dear. Seamus, tell the girl what to do. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Hamish. No, it's Mrs. Abernathy. Okay, select any highlighted element to learn about it. Okay. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff we can do. What is this? What does this backpack do? Didn't we cover oh. this? That's your inventory bag where you keep the things people give you or that you confiscate from them. In other words, your sweet, sweet loot. Oh, so you can confiscate. You can take stuff from people. That's interesting. Adam's mom takes like our Nintendo Switch away from us and stuff. Okay, let's go. Looking okay. Back for something to use doesn't cost you an action point. Okay. What's this do? You use the Wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in or send them packing. Okay, so we have to decide if we let people into the town or not. So basically, we're at like the entrance of the city and we're either going to let them in or we have to kick them out. I see. This will end the tutorial. Can I finally get out of here? No, I'm not doing that yet. No, wait, there's more. Okay, what is uh, what does this do? The phone. Stuck? This phone is for calling the royal advisors and asking for their help. But all they really give you is their opinion. So we can like phone a friend and ask for help. Guys, this game is so cool. Let's go. You can get a hold of Lieutenant Stryker, Captain of the Guards, and technically our boss. Hello, who's there? Oh, what's up? So that's like the boss. Or First Councilwoman Ash, the head bureaucrat of the sprawl with a real mind for politics. Okay. This is Councilwoman Ash. Hello? Hello? Is somebody there? This is so cool. So we can call a bunch of people and ask for their help. And finally, the Royal Jester Malcolm. Chaos personified in human form. Hello, you've reached Malcolm. Please leave a message after the goose honk. Hey, where'd the goose go? Well, chase after it, for goodness sake. <laughs> honk honk. Okay. Each call costs an action point. Okay, and then uh, there's two more things to learn about, guys. We're going to get into the game in a second. What is this? Our tools. If you want to use a tool, you have to make sure it has a crystal to charge it. Here, I'll show you. What? Today's crystals to the tools that don't have any. That way, I have a well-rounded arsenal. Yo! Why do the other tools already have crystals in them? I carry them over from previous days. Any other questions? Why does a bullwhip need to be powered by crystals? <laughs> no more questions. Wow, so guys, we have like an x-ray. I bet we can use this to like check if people are telling the truth. This is a metal detector, a decoder ring. What is that? Truth spray. <gasps> you could probably <gasps> force someone to tell the truth with that, bro. Oh, that'll be really helpful. And then you got this. I don't know what that's for. Okay, let's just go back. I'm not going to use these yet on her. She's really nice. Okay, let's see what the final thing does. What is this? This is the royal writ. The first thing you do when you start your shift is take a look. Okay, so we have to read this every time we start. It's got a lot of the information you'll need to do your job. What is this? Okay, so we can read this anytime. Bro, okay, if the castle guard can achieve a good star rating this month, there will be pizza party. Pizza party, bro. We got to get that, bro. Thick Shark wants that, bro. Yeah, man, let's do it. Okay, there will be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by members of the Mages Guild. If any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their... Okay, guys, now it's getting tricky. Okay, so if people come for, like, the Magic Guild, we have to call. Okay, I don't know what this means. After a six-month undercover operation, blah, 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 a, a group of sweet Grammys and Grampies were discovered to be doing something bad. Bruh. While not every old person is to be treated as bad. Wait, so is this is this lady bad? Probably, yeah. Wait, we can use the x-ray on that and see what she's got, bruh. What if she's got some bad stuff? Yeah, let's do it. That's what I'm saying. Wait, I can't I literally can't select that anymore, bruh. Okay, I'm gonna just I already told you. Selecting the person means you interrogate them and hear more of their story. It's the best way to find out someone's true intentions. 
Sometimes. You know what? Sometimes. Sometimes using a tool will do the job better, or the phone, or it's a combination of things. I don't know. You can spend all three action points just interrogating them for all I. Okay, guys, I was gonna be nice oh, and let her in. She so get, I mean, three thousand to make the big decision to let someone in, or send them packing. Now you can choose to use the Wicked 3000 at any point during a turn, but sometimes it's better to use up all three action points to find out everything you can by any means necessary. Got it. Sometimes? Yeah, and sometimes people are in a really big hurry, like I am right now, so just pick a lever already. Guys, I was gonna let her in, bro. She, she gave us a cinnamon roll. I mean, how bad could she really be, bro? You know what I mean? True. All right, so this is let people in, the smiley face. This is kick them out, and this is put people in jail, which we can't do right now. So I'm just going to let her in. YOLO. YOLO. Nice. Please don't be evil. <laughs> okay, if she's evil, that's an L, bro. I don't know. Great job, Lil. Your mother would be so proud to see you now. After my delivery, I'm off to watch the big game. Got my okay. grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the Stapleford Snughorns are gonna win it today. Here's a tip. Never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. <laughs> Let's hurry along to the game. We don't want to be late, do we, Hamish? My name is Shamish. No, wait, it's not. Oh, I better go. Time to put on your big kid pants. You can do this. More like I'm being forced to do this. It's only for today, I swear. Come meet me in the tavern when the shift is over. Good luck. Easy. Okay, we nailed the tutorial. We got three stars. W. Let's go. <laughs> All right, now we got to read this every time, guys. Okay, so this is important. Adam, help me read this, bro. If the Castle Guard Corp can achieve a good star rating this month, there will be a pizza party at the barracks. Let's go. From the desk of Councilwoman Ash, there will be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by members of the Mages Guild. If any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. Okay, wait, wait so we already read this. It's the same one, guys. So if there's magicians, we have to call with the phone. And then something over here is saying that there's Grammys and Grampies are being meanies. So we have to be careful. If there's a Grammy or Grampy, we got to ask them a lot of questions. Okay, guys, keep an eye out for those Grampies. Oh, wait, and another thing. Um, the, the Malcolm, the Joker, he's looking for a person with a funny name. So if there's a person with a funny name who shows up and we call uh, the Jester, he'll give us a cash bonus. Oh, okay, guys, let's remember all of that. Okay, there's a lot for us to remember, bro, but we got this. Oh, yo. Hello. acquaintance, young Gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Briel and Darunia Athanatos. Okay, are you a magician? I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. Yup, 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 he's a magician, yup. Will you require anything further? Um, yeah, we got a call, we got a call, uh, we got a call for backup. We got a call and summon, summon. Uh, oh, who was I supposed to call? Hold on. It was Ash, right? Oh, bruh, bruh. Oh, bruh. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Hold on. Let me see. Yes, you got to call Ash. Yep. Good call. Guys, this game's cool. You got to remember a lot. All right. Call Ash. <laughs> nice. I'm so glad you called. Frankly, I was worried you guardsmen never followed the writ due to illiteracy. No, I can read. Admit the mage and my people will escort him to the venue. W. Okay. Okay, so those are our three actions, guys. It, it, it says A because we called Ash. This game's really cool. So it said, she said admit him, and she'll go get him. W. Lit. W. W, bro. Let's go. <laughs> this is awesome. The House of Thanatos and indeed the entire Mages Guild, thank you, young guardian. You will go far. Thank you. Nice. Easy. Easy W. You read the writ and followed the orders. Good guardsman. Yup. See? L let's go. Okay. Oh, hey, yo. Good afternoon. I am here to pick up my two kids from the no good, stingy, low life of a father who happens to be my lying, cheating, low life of an ex-husband, Orlando. Okay. His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kids sent me. Hmm. Okay. Believe me, I would love to have him get off his sorry butt and bring them to me for once. Okay, now, she didn't really tell us much. I don't even know her name. It was his week with them. No, I'm sorry. It was his and his new girlfriend, Callie's week with them. And you want to know what the kids say about her? They say she's 
fun. I'm sure the letter they wrote is all about her. Can't decode it to save my life, though. My kid's writing is so lousy. Okay, now we could trust her or doubt or tease. What should we do? Doubt. Doubt. Kelly probably isn't actually fun. She's probably just younger. Exactly. She's actually closer to your age than she is mine. And now I've made myself sad. Okay, so we use one action point to interrogate, but we don't know anything, bro. I mean, she seems nice. We just let her in. I don't really know, bro. I feel like we might want to try one of those items, man. Oh, bro. Which one should we use, man? Should we use, uh, let's use the truth spray, bro. All right, let's do it. YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly is a lot younger than me. She probably has a lot of energy. Well, you try giving up the best years of your life and pushing out two baby cyclopses. Two babies? Oh, I just had the most vivid feeling. Okay, I mean, I think she's telling the truth because we used a truth spray and she kept talking about um, her like kids and everything. So I, I think it's I think it's real. So I think we just let her in. You know what I mean? I think she's down bad. I think I think we let her in the castle. Bro. What does she say about two Cyclops babies? <laughs> what? Alright, hopefully we didn't mess that up. Thanks. Don't worry, Polyphemus Orlando Jr. Mama's coming for you. Okay. Good luck. Bye-bye. Good luck. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay. Yep. Okay, we got three stars. I guess that's good. <laughs> I don't really nice. I mean, I felt bad that she was kind of sad, but okay. Alright, who's next? Yo! What in the bloody blazing blasted is the holdup? Why have we stopped, Belp? Oh, by the way, guys, we're on four out of five, so this round ends after, like, two more people, I think. Well, sir, the guard... Silence! Speak when spoken to, or you'll get the whip, Welp. Hey, he just hit his friend, don't do that. Yes, sir. Hey. Now, you child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. BS waits for no man. Wait a minute, this guy's a meanie and he's a grampy. And we know the grampies might be a little bit sussy based on what we read. I'm gonna have to check this guy out, bro. BS? Bank of the sprawl. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to check this guy out. Let me use the x-ray on that box. What you got in there, bruh? Yeah, that's probably some sus grampy materials that he's trying to carry. Yes, sir. Huh? What is that? Oh, it's gold. It's gold. That's gold, right? Yep, gold. Whoa, that's a lot of cheddar. No, ma'am. It is gold. <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Yes, it is gold, but it is legitimate. Certainly not blood gold, if that's what you were thinking. Uh huh? Well, I wasn't before you said anything. Yeah, why you say that? Sussy. Confiscate? I'm gonna take it, bro. That's our money, bro. Let's grab it. Ours. I think I'll have to take a sample of this. For, you know, science. Ha <laughs> ha. Why, you greedy little urchin. <laughs> I think I like you more than ever. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> W. W Riz, we just got a bunch of money. Now, since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable petty little monster, let me pass. Okay, should we let him in? We took his money. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what the stamp on these gold bars means. Maybe it's decodable. Decodable? She's a genius detective. How do I do that? Let's let's look at him. Price 50. How do I how do I how do I like use stuff on my own stuff? I don't know, bro. I, I don't know. Let's do that later, honestly. Well, maybe I'll just ask him like what he's up to. We only use one action point. What kind of business do you have at the bank today, sir? I shan't be hearing the details of my BS appointment with some nosy little brat tending the gate. Mind your business or you'll get the whip, child. No, we will not. Yeah, he shouldn't threaten people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me of our toolkit. Uh, we should use ours. See what happens. That's what it said. Let's let's doubt him, bro. I don't think you're allowed to not tell me what your business is. Insolence. But sir, it's only a deposit. One more outburst, and it will be back in the cage with you. I don't like this guy. He keeps hitting his friend. I don't like that. I'm. I'm. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, the game said to do this. Yolo. Do it. 
Yeet! Huh? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just slouching only for a second. I'll make sure that none of the blood gold falls out of its case. Ha! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. Blood gold? What is that? I don't know what that is, but he just leaked the seeker, bro, because he said it wasn't that earlier. You nincompoop. It wasn't me using the whip. If it was, believe me, you'd feel it. Wait a second. Did he say blood gold? Isn't that illegal? That's bad. He didn't say blood gold. He said bloody gold. Liar. It's a form of slang he must have picked up from somewhere. Isn't that right, you bloody idiot? Hey. Yes, sir. Wh whatever you say, sir. I don't like this guy. I think he's sussy. And we already came up with the W. I was going to kick him out, bro. <laughs> I'm going to kick him out. What do you think? Yeah, man. That was a major bag alert. That was, a, that was a huge bag fumble from him, honestly. Deny. Get out of here, buddy. No. Nice. Okay. Although he did like us earlier. It's the goblin's fault, isn't it? Nasty, deceptive creatures. No, he's going to blame his friend. No, we shouldn't have done that, bro. Oh, no. This guy's getting in trouble now. What about this? Let me through the gate, but I shall leave the goblin tied up outside like the cur he is. But sir, the gold! Silence! All right, you rotten little girl, I'll go. But you will rue the day you crossed me. Uh-oh, okay guys, now he doesn't like us. That's not good. Yikes. Okay. Hopefully we did it. Oh, nice! Okay, we got the gold medal though. Nice. We foiled a bad guy. Let's go. Okay, last round. Oh, the phone's ringing. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess, Beatrix Von Matterhorn calling. Who may I ask am I speaking to? This is Lil. Nice to meet you, Lil. I need one of you gate guards to come down to the dig site as soon as you can. Okay, and where exactly is... She hung up. Huh? Why'd she hang up on us like that, bro? Okay, wait, what? Why, hello there. I have come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. Okay. After years on the road as a traveling merchant, I'm finally ready to put down roots. And what better place than the sprawling metropolis of the sprawl? Huh, <laughs> I just got that. Garby Bunches is the name. Garby Bunches. Is that is that a funny <laughs> enough name to call the jester? Yeah. Okay. Garby Bunches? <laughs> Funny name, but that's gotta be made up. I'm gonna have to see some documentation. Can't fault you for doing your due diligence. Here's my vendor's license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade. Okay, I'm gonna return that to him, cause why not? You can have He's it. That's right, everything is in order. Okay, let's call the jester. He thought it's a funny name. Uh, I'll call this guy Malcolm. <laughs> Garby Bunches. Where have I heard that name before? Wait a minute. Ask him if he's descended from Garbanzo the Terrible. Are you related to Garbanzo the Terrible? Yep. My great, 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 great grandpappy Garbanzo. OMG, tell him I'm a huge fan. I've got so many questions. Like, why did he use an ice cream scoop? How did he dispose of all that mess? This isn't helpful. You're not helpful. <laughs> Do we need money? <laughs> oh, he gave, he gave us money. He gave us money for that. That was good. Okay. Um, what should I do with this guy? Maybe I'll use the metal detector on him? Yeah, man. Let's try it. Oh, wait. Decoder ring. How do I use that on the gold that we got? Hmm. Can you, like, click it and then click on your gold? I think it's just going to use it on him. Conceivable. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, That's so sweet of you to say. I'm going to use this. Got to work on my inner monologue. YOLO. What you got on you? Nothing. I was sure that I would detect something. I sent all my belongings ahead of me with everything I'll need to set up shop. I don't really care about that. I don't really care whether or not you really care. <laughs> okay, so now our last action. Let's just ask him like what he's up to. I just can't wait to get in the mix and figure out what kind of merchant this place really needs. Since I was a boy selling lemonade, when life literally gave me lemons, I've dreamed of maximizing profits and keeping overhead low. What? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one. We never use this one. That sounds like a pretty messed up childhood. Says the unaccompanied child at the castle gate. <laughs> Touche. See, you get it. 
Once I've set up shops selling, well, whatever I decide to sell, I'll be sure to give you a discount. I look forward to buying uh, something. Okay, W, let's just let him in. I mean, we used the metal detector, he had nothing on him, so let's just let him in. Yeah, I trust him. YOLO. W. But we didn't really learn much from him, except maybe we get a discount when we see him later. Oh, maybe, yeah. Please, W. Can you smell that? The trash barge? Yeah, it comes through on the weekends. The smell only lingers for a couple of days. Not the reek of filth and decay. That's the reek of opportunity. See you around. Nice. Nice, buddy. Oh, nice. W. Okay, cool. Yep. See, we contacted the jester and we got a good job. Let's go. Lit. This game's awesome. Okay. Bells ring in the distance. No more folks. Time to close up shop. Okay, so we finished the day. Let's go. W. That's a W Riz. Please. W Riz! Due to your good job performance, 3.6 out of 4, you were paid 20 gold. I'll take it. Nice! Oh, it shows us how we did. Okay. So this one, how, wait, how do we mess this one up? We literally did what it told us. I guess we could have asked him more, like we could have talked to him more. Yeah, probably. And this one, we probably should have done something else. So yeah, guys, if you get the medal, then you get four stars. Okay. So I think the more things you do, the higher your score is. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Wow, that was awesome. So now we're going to head over to the dig site. Because remember that person called us earlier and said to head to the dig site? Let's go there and see what's going on. Let's do it, man. This is going to be awesome, guys. We're going to show you guys an ending to this game. It's going to be so cool. Okay, we're going to see how all the decisions mattered in the grand scheme of things. Okay, what's this? <laughs> oh, there's somebody here. Okay, what's this? Okay, ammonia, hydrogen, iodine, all pretty basic stuff. Okay, let's talk to her. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, were you left behind? The last group of school children departed hours ago. Feel free to wait in the lost and found box until someone comes to collect you. No, no, you called us. No, you called me. I'm Lil, we spoke on the phone. I was covering for my dad at the South Gate. Ah, uh, of course, Lil, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do, for the sake of time. <laughs> sake of time. <laughs> do you get it? No. No. Ha <laughs> <laughs> see? <laughs> Trust me, you will. Okay, who are you or what is it? Who are you? Who are you again? Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological research at the Royal Academy. But you can call me B. Gotcha. And what's so great about this place? Would you like the long or short version? The short version. The short one. It's a hole in the ground where we get power crystals from. Power crystals? Oh, we need these to power up our, our tools, like the metal detector and stuff, right? Yeah. That was short. Sweet. Okay, uh, what's this got to do with me? I am the preeminent expert in the advanced properties of power crystals, and my research suggests we have barely scratched the surface of what these puppies can do. Okay, but again, what does this have to do with me? Lil, I have found how to harness the crystal's power to alter the very fabric of time. May I present the Chronometer 3000? The Chronometer 3000? Whoa! What I need to know from you is, do you know anyone who would be willing to go on what some might call an adventure? Uh, yes, me. Oh, me, 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 me. I want to go on an adventure. Wonderful. But before you go off and start pushing buttons willy-nilly, let me explain how I came across this incredible new discovery. Or more exposition, as you might say. You see, by transmuting the crystal's more raw and ethereal properties and tethering it to a gnomish astrolab, they can produce temporal anomalies. Huh? Uh, okay. I'm just gonna push the button YOLO. <laughs> what is that? Oh, we're going back in time. What? Yo! Yo, yeah, we went back in time. We're back at the guard booth. We look. Wait, what? <laughs> Where am I? What just happened? Bro. Phone's ringing. Hello? <laughs> Pick up the phone. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn calling. Who may I ask am I speaking to? Uh, wait, this happened before. So guys, we went back in time. I'll say this is Lil. Nice to meet you, Lil. I need one of you gate guards to come down to the dig site as soon as you can. What's going on? Don't you remember I... 
We went back in time. Again. We went back in time, guys. Wow. That's what that thing did that she gave us. Oh, it's this guy again. Why, hello there. I've come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. After years on the road as a... Let me stop you there. Your name is Grabby Blanchers, right? You're a traveling merchant or something? Oh, I see my reputation precedes me. <laughs> kind of. The name is Garby Bunches. This is so weird. I swear I already dealt with this guy. I can either do the same thing as I did last time, or, or maybe this is a chance to try something different. Okay, guys, so we can do different stuff. I'm just going to speed run this. I'm not even going to listen to any of this, guys, because we're just going to go into this and just quickly do everything that we did before. So I'm just going to skip all this, guys. So literally, we went back in time, guys. This thing will allow us to choose if we want to go back in time. So I'm just going to admit him because we did last time. Let's get to the next part of the game. That is a really cool new tool that we have now. We can go back in time and try different stuff with people so if we change our mind we can change it yeah already. all right let's go can you smell that i think then you said something about opportunity you got it see you around okay bye bye okay cool bells ring in the distance i need to get back to the dig site to figure out what just happened we went back in time that's what happened Nice. Okay, so I go back to the dig site one more time, guys, and then we should be able to move on. Cool. Okay, what was that? Oh my, were you left behind? The last group of school children departed hours ago. Feel free to wait in the lost and found box until someone comes to collect you. No, you already said that to me. I need you to listen to me. Something very strange is going on. My name is Lil, don't you remember me? Oh, Lil, from the phone call earlier, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do for the sake of time. Huh, sake of time. Do you get it? Now I get it. I already told you no. Oh, wait, I actually do. <laughs> My name is Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological... Logical research at the Royalty School for Smart People. You said I can call you Trixie. We've been through this before. I'd prefer if you called me B. And this is the site where power crystals were first discovered and you used them to make a time machine. Then you baited me with promises of adventure and pretty much forced me to push the big shiny button on your silly little time machine and now I'm pretty sure I'm just traveled back through time and I'm kind of freaking out here. Any questions? Uh, okay, uh, time travel? Wait, why am I asking you questions? For any of this to be possible, it would require the use of my newly crafted device. May I present the Chronometer 3000? We already have that. Wait, where did it go? <laughs> Do you mean this? My invention! How did you get that? You gave it to me. Well, not really, but you were gonna give it to me, I think. You were in the middle of explaining. And you were seduced by the glowing red button. Can you blame me? Yes, but it is a good button. I'm just proud of myself that your particles weren't immediately dispersed to the furthest reaches of space and time. That risk becomes much lower once I configure it to your individual life source, which I will do now. Okay, so she's fixing the machine so we can use it more safely. That's pretty cool. At any rate, I think the castle gate is a perfect place to test my prototype. And I need a willing gate guard to use the device. And allow me to track their progress to make sure only the right people are permitted entry to the sprawl. Do you have any questions? No, let's go. I think I get the idea, Dr. B. I'm ready to go out in the world and use this device properly. And definitely not to win the lottery or to repeatedly watch people trip and fall over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> You'd want that? Uh, yes, lottery or yes trip. Yeah, trip and fall. I have a feeling you're not using your science experiments to their full potential. Regardless, you'll find you can't use it whenever or wherever you want. It is now calibrated, so it will only allow you to fold space and time when you are inside the guard shed. Okay. Ah, rats! Furthermore, by default, the device will automatically allow you to travel back to the start of your guard shift, including your loadout. However, I've hacked it a bit so that you can jump back to a specific point in the turn. Hack is the key word, though. I have to leave now. There is more science to be done. I will summon you soon, and we will see what else you might be ready for. 
Thank you, Lil. The world thanks you. Thank you. All no right, see you later. Sure. Bye bye. You can do this. Just try not to break space and time. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm not kidding. Bye bye. Okay, uh, nice. Maybe I should have mentioned I was only working the gate for one day. Oh well. It's getting pretty late. I should head home. Let's go home. Nice. We can hang out with our parents. Cool. Okay, so here's the map, and let's go home. Nice! Uh, <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, cool! This is the tavern. Okay, uh, this is our bed. Let's just go to sleep. Lil should at least say hi to her father before heading up to bed. Yeah, wait, where's our dad? Dad? I'll talk to this person. Hello? over there. Okay, thanks. There he is. Nice. Dad? <laughs> okay, let's go over here. W. W, dad. <laughs> hey, hey, there she is, my hard-working angel face sweetest of the sweetest daughter of mine. You didn't win your gambling, did you? Ha! <laughs> no, but it wasn't my fault. The other team was just too good. But I didn't lose all my money. We still have left what I didn't bet, so... That'll be 15 gold. And now we don't have any left. Hey, Lil, <laughs> did you take any bribes or pickpocket anyone today? Maybe. Uh, we, yeah, we got, um, we got gold bars from that, that guy. Oh, don't, oh, we can lie to our own dad and say sorry nothing. Let's do it. Let's lie. No, why you want to lie to your own dad, bro? Let's give him the gold, bro. Foxy says, Aiden, you really would lie to your own dad. I just want to see what he's going to say, but I guess we can give him the gold. No, let's give him the gold, man. We, we need to give it to him, bro. W. Maybe he knows what to do with him. Okay, we lost that. I got this off an old mean type of guy. He had an assistant that he just kept walloping and walloping. I don't think he likes his work. This is perfect. Arna, a round for everybody. I'll be right back after I call my guy. Thanks again, Lil. Wait, you'll never believe what happened. Right at the end of my shift, I got this phone call, okay? Asking me to come down to the dig site. Did you remember to lock up the shed? What? Yes. And turn off the light? Yes, I did. Whatever. Just listen. You gotta make sure to turn off the light, Lil. They'll charge us for the overnight usage. Bro, <laughs> you trying to tell a story here! I remember to turn off the light. I think. <laughs> Anyways, Dad, I met this professor at the dig site, and she had this time machine, and when I touched the time machine, I went back in time. Then she gave me the time machine to use when I worked the guard shed for you, but it only works at the guard shed, so that was kind of a bummer. But it's super cool, and it only works for me. That's great, sweetie. I'm glad you liked covering for me today. But you don't have to make up stories just so you can work another shift. We didn't make that up. That happened, bro. Wait, no, that's not what's happening. I Anytime you want to be just like Daddy and work down at the guard shed, all you need to do is ask. What? Dad, you're not fully comprehending what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, Arda, did you hear? Lil's making up cute stories so she can be more like her old man. Bro, stop! That's not what we're doing, bro. <laughs> That's so sweet. I have the power to manipulate time and I demand to be taken seriously! Okay, okay, I understand. I can see that you're serious. Seriously adorable. But honestly, Lil, you can cover for me anytime you like. You're probably doing a better job than me anyways. This isn't how I expected it to go. Speaking of that, I better call my guy and make a bet on the next game. It's getting late. You better get upstairs to bed, Missy. Good night, Lil. Okay, good night. Um, bro. Good night, Dad. Maybe someday you'll believe me. Good luck with your gambling. I don't need luck. Clearly you do, bro. Man, Adam, you were right, bro. We probably shouldn't have given him the money because he's about to just YOLO it and he didn't listen to a word of our story. That was kind of an L, <laughs> that was kind of an L move, honestly, bro. I'm pooped. That's enough adventure for one day. I'm ready to hit the sack. All right, let's go to bed, man. Forget that. Hey, if we get money tomorrow, I'm not giving it to our dad, bro. Adam was right. L. Our dad's weird. On her way, Miss Abernathy accidentally walked into two more tutorials, causing her to be late. <laughs> oh, no. Her grandson's inheritance is safe for now. Okay, W. Oh, so we get to hear, like, what happened to everyone. That's pretty cool. Okay, this guy, he gave his speech at the festival, and he inspired the crowd. Okay, and he is awesome. Okay, W. So, guys, we get to find out what happens to everyone. That's pretty cool. She found her children from her ex-husband. 
She said hello to Kelly, but never looked at her. <laughs> Once the kids were gone, uh, they took... I don't know what's going on, okay? This guy. Okay, due to our confiscation of his gold, uh, he was unable to make his deposit of... Yup, the bad gold. Yup. Uh, and then I don't... know. I mean, he got in trouble. W. W. Riz. <laughs> <laughs> this guy oh this guy wanted to start a business right and he started his emporium of wonders that's kind of cool w okay that's cool it shows you what happens to everyone that you dealt with now we're on to level two guys we will beat this it's gonna be lit nice we're waking up Good morning you're listening to the morning crawl the number one morning show in the sprawl yes yeah, sir i'm your host dodger joined as always by my co-host the ham who i will remind you is a live pig uh -huh. Let's jump right in and get your morning started and muse over the news. Today in the headlines, it was just announced that the heir to the throne, Princess Desdemona, has come of age and will be taking a suitor. Okay. No, I don't think Desdemona wants a pig as a husband, the ham. But then again, neither did my ex-wife. <laughs> hey yo! Hey yo! Turn that off, bro. Let's get to work, bruh. I liked it better when it was Dodger and the Cluck, but I guess it was too hard to keep training that chicken. That tail cluck! Where's the tail cluck? <laughs> okay. Let's go to work, man. I'm going to work. Let's go. It's time to get started, man. Get on with our day. Let's go. Wait, how do I get out of here, bro? What? Do you have to look at everything? We have to go here? What? No, I'm out of here. Get me out of here. A note? A note. Dear Lil, please come down to the guard shed as soon as you can. Love, Dad. Our dad's gonna make us work again, bro. Maybe he wants me to work a shift for him again. Or maybe he forgot to put on underwear and needs me to bring him a pair. Uh -huh. Well, there's a 50-50 chance I'll get to use the chronometer 3000 today. Here's hoping. All right, nice. Now we're going to the guard shed. Let's go. And finally, the aforementioned grading pending review will be transferable to a more viable calculation. Huh? Which is, needless to say, a more economical contrivance for evaluation. Any questions? That's too many big words. <laughs> many questions. Hey, Dad, I got your note. What's going on? I have no idea. Due to the bank of the sprawl being burned to the ground as a result of your actions, any guardsman who does not receive an above two-star rating at the end of any given shift will lose their job. What? Wait, so if we don't get two stars, we're going to get fired. So now we can actually lose. And I think, guys, the bank, it has to do with that guy we took the gold from. I'm pretty sure the bank literally got set on fire because of what we did, which is kind of crazy. But I need my job for gambling. Huh? I am glad you asked. I've been authorized to award above average job performance with cash bonuses. Okay, nice. So if we get four stars now, the game's telling us we're gonna get cash bonuses. That's good. You mean if we get more four star results, we'll make more money? You're as quick as your father. Before I go, here are the allotted crystals to power your tools. Oh, we got three crystals. And Sweet. With that, I'm off to tell all the other gate guards about these new rules. Well, all of them except Randy. He's been terminated. Not Randy. That guy's a riot. Which is exactly what his poor judgment led to. Wish me luck. Bye-bye. Okay. So now we gotta do a good job, guys. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Randy was just three payments away from paying off his new catapult. Huh? Sounds like you need to start doing your job better. More like you need to start doing my job better. Just like you wanted to. No, that's not exactly what I meant. I, you don't just get to leave me here. Will you go bet on Goblin Ball games? No Goblin Ball match today. I received a cryptic letter this morning saying they need me on palace duty. And they specifically referenced that you need to cover for me again. Looks like you're not the only one who wants you to work the gate today. Okay. Again, not what I meant. It's not all bad news. I scored these off-brand discount crystals from my bookie Fredo as a gift for being his best client. But he mentioned that they might only work some of the time. But I like those odds. Oh, we got like broken crystals. Oh, Dad, you really need to talk to somebody about your gambling. I love you too, Lil. And with that, I'm off. No pressure. Our dad's just making us work and do a good job. W. Okay, Adam, help us read this. Malcolm, rather than repairing the dungeon, which is falling apart, leading to the escape of a serial arsonist, I'm having the jail cells painted instead. Give me a call when the fellow gets here. What does that even mean, bro? Okay. 
Expect the imminent arrival of two envoys vying for an alliance with the Sprawl. That's two envoys, not one, not three, but two. Four is right out. Take this opportunity for cultural exchange and learn as much as you can. Really get them talking. Okay, so if we see an envoy, I don't even know what that is. We have to ask them a lot of stuff. I still know what this means. The jester is saying, uh, give me a call when the guy gets there. Oh, so when someone gets there, I think this means that people like fire. Is that what that means? Arsonists like putting things on fire, yeah. Okay, when that guy shows up, we have to call the jester, and then if there's envoys, we have to get them talking, okay? This is a lot to remember, guys. The Duchess of Scarsborough's award-winning feline companion, that means cat, Sprankles, shall be arriving in its miniature royal carriage this week. Okay, so if we see a cat, we gotta let him in. As always, treat any non-human visitor, goblin, gnome, ogre, etc. with extra scrutiny. Remember, if you see something, say something. Okay, so if they're not human, then we have to ask them more questions. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. All right, W, w time. Time to get five stars. Let's go. Okay, so we got to choose where to put our gems. Uh, I like the truth thing. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it... Oh, this is cool. You can put crystal. I'll put one there. And then... I put one here on the x-ray, right? Mm hmm I really like the truth spray. Maybe just two here. I don't know. I don't know what this stuff does. Uh, metal detector, maybe? What do you think? Not the whip. That one just seems mean. Metal detector's cool. I like truth spray the best, though. Let's do two truth sprays. I like that, bro. I, I like I like how you're thinking. Oh, I can't. You can only do one at a time. Okay. So I'll, just, I'll do one here. Decoder ring. I don't know what this does. We'll try it. And I'll put broken ones in this cause, and, and the other one because I don't know. Like, these sometimes work. Cool, all right. All right, W, let's go. We're ready. We're ready for our job. Let's go. Hello, ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. I've been requested to do some work in the sprawl. Okay, okay. Well, first off, he's a goblin, so we have to ask him extra questions. That's what it said to do. Just have my supplies here with me. Nothing else to declare. Okay, he's got some paint buckets. Wait a minute. Didn't they say something about someone painting? Uh, I'm having the jail cells painted. Maybe this guy's here to paint them. Could be, yeah, should we let him in? Or should we just call Malcolm? Oh, no, wait, no, no, we're supposed to call him. Yeah, no, we're supposed to call, he says, w w call him when the guy who's there to paint is there. So I just call him, right? <laughs> call Malcolm. Well, it's about time he showed up. Send him to my office, toot sweet, and I'll set him to work. No more doom and gloom down here in my office. Now it'll just be doom. Okay, cool. Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo after all. What? <laughs> what? Kind of a big splash, okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk to this guy though, because okay, so we know he's allowed in, but I'm just gonna talk to him anyways. Me with you. Are you like an artist? Me? An artist? No, ma'am. I have a real job. I'm a painter. I paint things like walls and doors. An artist. <laughs> oh, you're giving me a laugh. Huh? Okay. Tease. Yeah, my mistake. Most artists I've met are hip and cool. You definitely are not hip and cool. <laughs> Got him. Dreadful thing to say. I would encourage you to think about how your words may affect people and choose them more carefully. That's true, guys. Don't hurt people's feelings. Okay, and then that's about it. I'm just gonna let him in. Yolo. All right, he's allowed in. Bye bye. See ya. Remember, guys, we cannot mess up. If we get under two stars, we're fired. Please, 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 please. Come on. Many thanks. Say, before I go, do you have a favorite color? Yes. Uh, I would pick purple because it's like the color of Foxy, but the closest thing, I'm just gonna put blue, YOLO. I like blue, I guess. Then I shall paint whatever it is I'm painting blue in your honor. Thank you. Thank you again. Okay, bye-bye. Please, not less than two stars. All right, nice, three stars. You let him do his job. Okay, nice. So guys, I think to get four stars, you have to use all three things. Oh, okay, makes sense. This game is cool. Who's up next? Oh, an envoy? Hey, hear ye. I have come to announce to the princess a proposal of marriage from my lord and master, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petra. Okay. Prince Phineas, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk, <laughs> daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert, son of Queen... I get it! <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Okay. I think I got it. All right. This guy... Okay. We got a picture of the prince. This guy's looking immediately sussy, bro. I'm gonna have to truth spray him one time. 
Yeah, let's do it. Wait, let's should we? It. Wait, we need this though. Maybe I'll try the decoder. What does this do? Can I see that scroll you got there? Oh, we're decoding the names. Was a secret message? Whether by cosmic accident or the handiwork of devious scribe, the decoder ring reveals the letter F A R T S embedded in the text of the scroll. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was useless. <laughs> I guess. I guess that means he's not evil. You know, I'm just gonna ask him. Though. Prince talk Phineas to him. himself would arrive in the sprawl after a ceremonial visit to the royal sulfur mines of Petra. The prince will be christening the newest of our sulfuric refineries by smashing a bottle of Petrardian fizzy over the front door. Okay. I don't trust- I don't trust you, Doubt! Won't that make a huge mess? Inevitably. But it is a tradition. A sticky, dangerous tradition. Alright, I'm just gonna ask him again. I wanna use all three of these. Let's just talk An to him again. The alliance between the great kingdom of Petrad and the Sprawl would benefit both sides mightily. Imagine, the petrol and gunpowder our sulfur mines produce, combined with the technological advancements that your power crystals provide, would create a union that would make our two kingdoms the envy of the world. Uh, I'm gonna make fun of this guy. Those sulfur mines smell like farts. Does <laughs> Flynn smell like farts? <laughs> I mean, his name is Phineas, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk, who was daughter of King... Stop it! Please, stop! Okay, we used all of our actions, let's just let him in. Alright, we, we wasted enough of his time, let's go. Bye-bye. There you go. Can we get four stars? I'm gonna see if it's true if we get four stars if we use all three. Please. Onward to announce the eventual arrival of Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad and future husband to Princess Desdemona. Incidentally, I believe there is a representative of the Marvog Empire behind me seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. If you refuse her entry, I will give you much gold tonight. I will meet you at the tavern after your shift. Remember, do not let in the Marvog delegate. Guys, now it's getting tricky. He's saying that the, the next person is going to be someone else with who's like trying to marry the princess. And he's saying that we should kick him out, bro. And he'll give us gold. Hey, yo, now it's getting tricky, bro. Whoa. Whoa. What do we do, bro? Okay. Oh, okay, three stars. Okay. Okay. We should try to get that money. Bro, so we're gonna kick him out? We'll see if he looks sus. Ah. Good afternoon, child. I would like to enter this bustling metropolis with the desire to purchase a hat. I have lost my previous hat and I require a replacement. Okay, wait, so this is not the person he was talking about? That person might come later. Okay, this guy's just here to buy a hat, okay? Likely story. What do you need a hat for? True. Why come all this way to buy a hat? Surely they have hats where you're from. That's what I'm thinking. They do, yes. But they do not match the standards of my previous hat. I was known well as one who adorned a hat of the highest caliber. I cannot go back. What? Okay, doubt. Maybe you haven't looked hard enough? I promise, child. I have searched high and low for the perfect hat. This sprawl is my last hope. This guy came all the way here for a hat? No, I'm using the truth thing on him. I, I do not trust you, buddy. <laughs> Tell us the truth, buddy. The hat. She was too much. <gasps> too fantastic for one man to wear. I couldn't handle the pressure of adorning such a prestigious piece of headwear. I did not lose that fantastic hat. I threw it away. Okay, this guy's crazy. He's still talking about a hat. Okay, he is here for a hat, but now I know he's not trustworthy. He threw the hat away. Now he's here to buy another one. He's going to lose his mind. But what should have been my salvation was the greatest mistake of my life. And now I must find a new hat of equal, if greater worth than my previous hat. Okay. I can only imagine the weight that comes with wearing such a fantastic hat. Heavy is the head, as they say. Okay, this guy has lost his mind. I let him in? I like him. I think he just actually wants to buy a hat. All right, all right. Have fun, buddy. Buy a hat. I'm not even going to talk to him anymore. He's going to keep talking about hats. Bye-bye. 
I w. hope you find your hat, Mr. Fantastico. Thank you, child. The next time you see me, you will say to yourself, Wow, has that guy got a fantastic new hat? Yes, sir. <laughs> w Riz. W Riz. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got four stars. Okay, lit. Okay. Nice. <laughs> w Riz. His hat's going to give him W Riz. Oh, who's this? <laughs> I come with a message for Princess Desdemona of the Sprawl from Praetor Cargan of the Marvag Empire. <laughs> oh, this is the person the other guy said to turn away. <clears throat> this is. So, should we listen to him to get that money, 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 or should well, we be nice? Let's hear them out, but I feel like this person got a sword. They might oof us if we turn him away. Okay. The Praetor bid me say directly to the princess, Egtak Maya Kora Una Guahatag. What? Grant me access to deliver this message personally, and I shall recite the Praetor's words to the princess with honor. Okay. Hail, Praetor Gargan. Kapla! Okay. Okay. Okay, what do I do? Maybe I'll offer them... Oh, man, I could show them this one and be like, what do you think? Sure, let's do it. Oh, price. I could sell it. Okay, never mind. I can't do that. Um, Let's use an item. Dude, I have five uses of this. I don't know what I'll use that for. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything now. I'm not going to use these, bro. She's going to attack me, bro. Let's use then the middle one. X-ray. What's in there? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, <gasps> sword. <gasps> ah! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, poison? Ah! Uh, uh. No, it's oofed head. I killed 19 other mighty adversaries for the honor of delivering this message to your princess. Ah. Uh, I have brought you the head of the mightiest of these for you to inspect, as is our custom. Ah. Uh, I don't want that. I don't want, I don't want that. I don't want, oh no, oh Ew. no. And now let's talk about what you've got under there. Haha, <laughs> you are impressed by my ceremonial weapons. Each of these weapons have drank their fill of blood in ceremonial combat or of the blood of those who tried to remove them from me. Uh, wait, she said she oof people try to take them. Should I try and take them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give them here. Did I stutter? <laughs> the blood of those who tried to remove them from me stains these weapons. Doesn't matter. It's our job. Take them from me. Ha. We got them. W. You are indeed brave, little one. Brave and stupid. Let the combat commence. What? Kapla! What? Let the combat... What? Huh? Huh? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> no! I didn't think this was that kind of game. Yeah, neither did we. What? Retry. Okay. Oops. Oops. Okay. We, we can can't use the, the time travel though, right? No, I think we're just back. Checkpoint. For we just got a checkpoint. Okay. Bro. The okay, so what should I... Well, this person... Oof me. I am going to turn them away. Get them out of here, man. I didn't think they'd actually oof us. I don't like you, bro. I was, I was going to let them in, but then they trolled us, bro. Dude, get them out of here, dude. I'm still going to do this so I get four stars, though. Because I, I want the skull. I don't know why I want it, but I kind of want it. Give it here. Yeah. I cannot believe they oofed us, man. I'm not reading all this. Let's go. Wow, that's crazy. If they were nice, I would have let them in. Because the other guy was kind of... kind of. let's talk about what you've got under there. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I have to give these back. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Okay. I'm just going to turn him away. Should I talk to him? Let me just talk to him. The Praetor is attending the ballet tonight. Upon its completion, Praetor Cargan will make for the sprawl. Oh, so the Praetor's coming here later tonight? Not likely. In Marvog, the ballet can last days, weeks even. It continues until only one dancer survives. What? Ballet is one of the finest blood sports in the Marvog Empire, and the bodies of fallen ballerinas are stacked high in the main square, as is our custom. Okay, I'm gonna make fun of her, see what happens. What a dumb custom. I mean, doesn't the giant pile of dead ballerinas stink up the joint? It is not dumb. It is a point of pride for the ballerinas to be added to the pile. And the stink is a constant reminder of the danger and sacrifice made by the noble winners of the Marvag Ballet. Okay. You see, the winner is put directly into the line of succession to rule. 
Praetor Cargan was one of the finest ballerinas I have ever witnessed. Oh. Slaughtered dozens of other would-be ballerinas with a grace and beauty that brought a tear to my eye. Alright, cool story, bro. I'm kicking you out. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting that money from the other guy. And this person tried to oof us. Well, they did oof us, actually. Bye-bye. Later. You do not think me worthy to speak the Praetor's words to the princess? You have no honor, little one. Yes, we do. You, you oofed us because we tried to take your swords. You shall be known as an enemy to the Marvag. Uh-oh. And Praetor Kargan will learn the disrespect you have shown me. Uh-oh. Oh. SpaghettiO. See ya. See ya. All right. Oh, we got two stars. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. That's okay. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's what an envoy is? So we're supposed to let them both in. Oh, the no. other envoy is going to sweeten the deal. Okay, so we got two stars, but we're going to get paid. So it doesn't matter. That was intense. Oh, who's this? Whoa there, Lucy. <laughs> Hello and salutations to you, most honorable guardian of the free peoples of the sprawl. What's up? I am the envoy of the gallant Sir Beverly, oh. a knight of some minor renown, which is also me. Oh, he's the envoy of himself. That's lit. I have received a very special invitation from Her Majesty Princess Desdemona as she turns her royal eye to finding a suitor. Okay. Was this a, a gift card he made? If there's nothing else, I will be off to my happily ever after. This guy's trying to marry the princess too. All right, you know, we got to test this guy, see if he's got W Riz. When word reached me that Princess Desdemona was going to be entertaining potential suitors, I knew my days of jousting and dragon slaying were behind me. This guy's slaying dragons? Okay, respect. I saddled up my faithful steed, Lucy, and rode hard across the realm. For thrice three days we rode, stopping only to aid those in distress and relieve ourselves. Now, we are here to exclaim our dearest devotion to the beautiful princess, the fairest flower in a whole field of fair flowers. Okay, I'm gonna doubt this guy. You really don't look like the dragon slaying type. <laughs> <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. By my eyes, you don't look like the castle guarding type. I am, though. We are. I'm not. This is my dad's job. I'm filling in. You're proving my point. Okay. Is there anything we can use? Should I try and use this on him? <laughs> yeah, the bullwhip. <laughs> Will it work? Please. W Riz, success. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of that? Ow, ow, ow. What? <laughs> they said ow, 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 ow. That's it? <laughs> oh, oh, no. This is not what we oh. signed up for, Beverly. Can we get our 10 bucks now? Hey, we exposed him. It was a costume. It was two guys. In there. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll be honest with you. I'm not the gallant Sir Beverly, knight of some minor renown. I'm just an envoy to plain Beverly, late night custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium, which is actually me. I've been watching the princess launch the ceremonial first slingshot at Goblin Ball matches for years now. Our eyes locked during one such slingshotting and she smiled. My heart has been hers ever since that day. Also, I spent all my money on this costume and I don't have any left to pay the horse. You better go too, Beverly. I understand. You are being controlled by powerful forces and simply following orders. But know this, there is no force more powerful than love. That's deep. You have not seen the last of Beverly, late night custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium. On, Lucy. Shut up, Beverly. <laughs> Wait, so are they gonna leave? Oh, the, oh, he left, oh, he left himself. Okay, it wasn't a real envoy, it was not a real horse. Man, good thing we're geniuses and we caught that. <laughs> yeah. W, okay? Guys, we're almost at the end of this round. There's only like uh, one or two more people. Hey kid, are you Lil? Yes. Yep, that's us. Okay, good. Got a mysterious letter here for you? What? Who is it from? I'm not authorized to know. That is mysterious. That's kind of sus. Does this mysterious letter have anything to do with the one my dad Hamish got this morning? Your dad is Hamish? What a good guy. Did you hear about Randy, though? 
Only three payments away on that catapult. Yeah, it's a real shame. Anyways, just take the note. I gotta get back to work. Thanks. Okay, we got a secret note. Should we read it? Yeah? Yeah, bro. Let's read it. Yeah, bro, bro. Thanks. What is this? Wicket 3000. What is that? Let's try it. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I really gotta catch up to my partner. Huh? Oh. Uh, should we let him in? Yeah, I trust him. Sure. Alright, see ya. W. I hope. <laughs> you had me worried there for a second. See you around, kid. Bye-bye. Big W. I wonder what's on that note. Oh, yeah, let's read it. Let's read it. What? Okay, what is this? Okay, we stand at the gate making choices. I can't wait. If you've got a taste of madness and wish to... Big word, great sadness. Come and meet me after dark. Together we make our stamp on the world. From M. What? Boulevard. Huh. This is from the Boulevard de Broken... I don't know. Let's go. How are you? <laughs> creepy about that. Somebody sent us a letter. Tell them to meet them after dark. Nope. Where's no, thank you. music coming from? What is happening? Some music. Yeah. Okay. What's up? Huh? Afternoon. I've traveled from afar. A simple girl who wished upon a star. Yo, she's singing. Inside this castle lies my fate. Perhaps I'll even get a date. <laughs> to my old life, I sing or a Oh yeah. She's cooking. Wait. And you are? Wait. This person came up and started singing, but. They look a little bit sussy, and there's there's oof all over them, or ketchup. I don't know what that is, but it's all over them. Let, let's ask him more questions. It's Lil, and you need a good reason to be let in. But so far, I'm not optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any ID or anything? I assure you that my heart is true. Bruh. Must this be a hole to do? Inside these walls, my destiny awaits. Yeah. It just feels like if you weren't singing, we could move the plot along faster. True. Okay. Uh, what do I have left? I have a metal detector. I, I can try and use this. It might not work. Let's see. Why is she covered in oof, man? Please work. Yeah. Oh, w, we got lucky. Let's go. Big W. <gasps> it's something there. It's something there. It's something oh, there. Oh, no. Is it a... a what? A what is that? What what were you gonna say? What a were you bad gonna say? Thing. Okay. I know Adam was thinking. He thought it was Oh, oh baby. That's just <laughs> I know that's what you were thinking. <laughs> okay, that was Foss. What is that? I don't even know. See Adam's laughing, he doesn't even deny it. That's what he was thinking, bro. That's, Adam is <laughs> such a troll. So Fossy. Yeah, what is that, bro? Fossy is the name of my blowtorch. What? <laughs> No, she's crazy. No, 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 no. Why do you have? Why are you hiding that? Uh, confiscate. confiscate. Give that here. Okay, we got a blowtorch now. Mm -mm -mm. Friends shouldn't take things from one another. I guess we're not friends then. No, definitely not. That makes me a little bit nervous for you, Lil. What? <laughs> like she's threatening us? She gonna try and oof us just like the other person did. Okay. I've had about enough of you. Yeah. All right, let, let's talk to her. See what she's going, what she's doing. I'm just so so thrilled to finally be here in the sprawl. The people, the culture, the food, the hundreds of dark alleyways that could just swallow a person up. What? <laughs> what? Okay, I don't. I doubt you. I Stop. To say, <laughs> I'm losing <laughs> patience, Lil. You seemed so innocent, but still I have a hunger driving me The people everywhere will see My dark destiny I will fulfill What? A fulfill a dark destiny? What is that? Well, that took a dark turn. Yeah. Nah, I'm kicking you out, bro. We found a blowtorch. She's covered in oof. And she said that she's nervous for us. Get out of here. I wish I could put him in jail, bro. Yeah, nah, let's let's kick her out. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye, buddy. Bye-bye, buddy. Nice. <laughs> later. I see now that you are 
heart, my friend. My time here is about to end. You haven't seen the last uh -huh. of me. Uh oh. <laughs> Yikes, Tivo. You're the worst. You're the worst. Uh, is she gonna try an Ufus? W, okay, we got four stars, nice. <laughs> yep, despite her being nice, we correctly identified that she was a something something maniac and took away her blowtorch. Yes, nice, good job, W. Okay, the day's over, let's see what happened everyone. Please, what we get, what we get. Yes, oh yes, we didn't get fired, we got like three and a half stars. Due to your good performance, 3.3, you were paid 20 gold. Nice, guys, if we we're under two stars, we get fired, let's go. Okay, yep. Three stars represents a good score. Four star res res says superb deduction. Nice. W. We did it, man. We actually let's, crushed this round. Let's see what happened to everyone at the end. That is so cool, guys. Uh, we got a lot of four stars. All right, let's go. W. Now we can learn the backstory. What happened to everybody? Okay, wait. Should we go visit? This is, this is the person who sent us that note. Let's go see what they're doing. Let's do it, man. Let's find out. Let's get to the bottom of this, bro. Who was that? Oh, we're in the dungeon. Uh-oh. Be careful. What do I do? Oh. What's this? Room four. Okay. What do I do? Hello? Psst. Who's there? Hello? Just go to the door, maybe? I'm trying. Oh, there we go. Nice. Psst. Is this the right place? It is. I mean, um, enter if you dare. Who are you? Who are you? Wow, Lil is very brave. Don't do this. What? Oh. <gasps> oh, it's our friends. There's people you call. Oh, you dared. Hello. Welcome to my layer of chaos. The layer of chaos. Oh, nice. It looks like a bedroom. <laughs> it can be two things. I'm a minimalist. So, this is the little guardsman we've been talking about. Wait, you are, right? Yep. Yes. I can't imagine why I wouldn't be. Good news, little girl. You're going to be working the gate for the foreseeable future. What? Why? What? That's not good news. Why me? I hardly have a grasp on what I'm doing, and I'm barely tall enough to see over the desk. Ha! I see. Then you're free to go. Oh. Keep it together, Mal. Listen, little girl, we have eyes and ears all over the city, but the gates have always been a blind spot for me. The point is, the safety and security of the sprawl must be preserved and protected, and you might be positioned to help maintain the balance. Do you understand our meaning? No, why would you put us in charge, bro? Uh, I'll just say, duh! You want me to do favors for you, use my position at the gate to let in the people that you want in, deny who you don't. Am I on the right track? Oh, they're trying to do like covert ops. You're at the station. What if I refuse? You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. I'm 12 years old. You've got us there. But how about we leave it up to chance? Guess which hand is holding the colored ball and we'll forget about the whole thing. But if you guess it correctly, you agree to do our bidding no matter how nefarious or unreasonable. Sound like a deal? Do I even have a choice? Yes, you choose which hand. Not the brightest one, is she? Okay, they're, they're cheating. They probably got one in both hands, bro. Go to left or right? Oh, wait, there's trick answers. Maybe they have it. Uh, you wanna do eeny, meeny, miny, mo? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one does Adam think I'm gonna go? Well, she's got a magic wand. I don't trust her. He's got two hands. I'm gonna go with her, bro. His right hand. Pick his right hand. You can't go wrong when you pick right. Let's ask this person. Malcolm is left-handed, I think. So I'd pick his left hand. That's not helpful. All right, she said right. I'm gonna go right. Right has to be the right one. W! Wait, is that good or bad? Oh, I'm sorry. That was the wrong choice. L. What you should have chosen was my foot. Okay, so they were cheating. He had it in no hands. I knew it. Adam does that to me all the time, bro. It's the yeah. worst. You cheater. He, he cheated. He cheated. But you said it would be in your hand. And what is the foot, if not the hand of the leg? What? You lost fair and square. No, we didn't. You cheated. But... <laughs> Oh, and don't worry about your father. We're each quite capable at finding ways to keep him busy, making sure you have to cover for him. But... That concludes this briefing. 
we suggest you go back home, rest, and wake up tomorrow prepared to go to your new mundane job, which you will work at for the foreseeable future. Now! It's called being an adult. Now! Keep an eye out for our directives in your daily Guardsman writ. I trust you won't disappoint us. Goodbye! Bye-bye. Man, we got L scammed. We actually got L scammed. Okay, wait, I can talk to this person. Why did you turn off the light? She obviously knows we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't have known that if you didn't start talking. I should have brought another drink. Okay, I'm out of here. Man, we got finessed. By a jester, man. We actually got finessed by three people. Malcolm's a little rascal, dude. Malcolm is the definition of a little rascal. Let's go home, let's call it a night, and let's see what happened to everyone, and that'll be the end, guys. This is so awesome. Let's see what happened to everybody. I'm actually really curious who, like, the princess chose and whatever. We we'll go talk to Dad. Hey, Dad. Hi, Dad. Boy, what a day. Hey, Arda, pour me a cold one, will ya? Make that two, Arda. Hey, wait a minute. You're too young to be drinking cold ones. Make hers a milk, please, Art. <laughs> <laughs> that depends. How did work go? Today? It went great, but I'm not giving you the money this time. Did better than a two-star rating, I can tell you that. How was... What were you doing again? The bidding of the three royal advisors. Do you think it's normal that the big names and faces of this city are using us for their own personal and political gain? After today, I don't know what's normal anymore. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good talk, Dad. Later. I'm not ready for bed. There's what? still stuff to do. Oh, no, there's not. Someone waiting for you in the back alley. Garcy blinkers, Gerby bonbons. Anyways, it's just through that door over there. Wait, it better not be the, the person singing there. Oh, wait, a hey, yo, nice hat, buddy. Sheesh. Wait, so guys, we actually get to see what happens with like everyone we met. Nice hat, buddy. Good job. You came Worth all the way. It. He came all the way here to buy that W. W, that is w Riz. W Riz. W Riz. W Riz. W Riz. W Riz. <laughs> it's not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. I mean, it's a nice hat, man. That yeah, is a I'm nice jealous. hat. I'm jealous. I wish right, I had that. Oh, this guy's going to give us gold. Pay up, buddy. Pay up. Aha! There she is, the brilliant little half pint running the desk. I trust you refused entry to the envoy from the Marvog Empire like we talked about? Yeah, she also oofed us, but yeah. If you did, <laughs> I have the gold I promised you right here. Pay up. I kept them out, bro. Oh, you know, all in a day's work. What kind of gold are we talking about here? I have here 20 pieces of gold. Fair is fair. Take them. 20? That's not bad. They are yours and with many thanks from Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrad, son of King Phineas and Queen... Stop! <laughs> Just the gold, thank you. Oh, yes. Here you are. W. All right, we, uh, yeah, we got a lot of money. Let's go out to the back. Hopefully, it's actually our friend. Hopefully, it's not the lady who was singing about back alleys and oofing people. Oh, the weird girl? The one that yeah. threatened us? Oh, it's this guy. Nice. Yo, this Whoa, is where you set up your you shop? Came. Nice shop, buddy. Nice. Welcome to Garby Bunches and Borium of Wonder. You're my very first customer. Nice. Be supportive or rain on his parade. Let's be supportive. Let's be nice. I was actually Always. inspired by watching you alternately help and hinder folks at the gate yesterday. And I thought, Garby, there must be an industry of enterprising individuals supporting the guards. And when I looked around, there wasn't. So I met a mage who's got a magic crystal hookup. And now I'm selling guardsman tool power-ups. Oh, cool. If you've got the cash, I can sell you extra power crystals. Both the good kind and the cheap roll the dice and see what happens kind. As well as power-ups for all of your tools. Oh. It's pricey, but the more crystals you can load into those bad boys, the better. Finally, if you need cash, you can sell me anything you might have taken off of unsuspecting suckers. Here, take a look. Oh, so we can sell him stuff and we can we can level up all of our stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna sell him the blowtorch, the skull, and these two pictures because I don't want them. And I, oh yeah, we got a bunch of money. I, we can level up the truth spray because it's really good, and the X-ray because I think it's really good. Nice. W. Thanks, buddy. 
That was awesome. Okay, now let's go to bed and let's see what happened to everyone at the end of the day, guys. I wanna learn everyone's story. See if we got the good ending or the secret bad ending. This guy got the good ending. That is a sweet hat, buddy. I am incredibly jealous of his hat and I hope to get one someday. One day, Adam, one day. Yeah. All right, let's go up here. Let's go to bed. It's bedtime. I think I've done everything I need to do, but are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Yeah, I'm ready. It's bedtime. Quiet, you. Hit the hay, yes. Okay, let's find out what happened, everyone. See what ending we got, guys. Let's go. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Let's see what happened, guys. Okay. The goblin did a commendable job painting the dungeon walls. Although humble, he is really very skilled. Okay, blah, blah, blah. He put his six goblin children to bed and had a great day. W. Lit. W Riz. Okay, this guy presented himself at court. And then he proceeded to toot his own horn. Adam does that. Which rapidly diminished the favor <laughs> he had. And no one liked him. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, that night, lying in his bed, he felt... He felt smart because he managed to bribe the guardsman. I guess he's talking about Lil. He thought to himself, maybe I missed my calling as a spy. This guy, this guy not a spy, bro. Oh, because he offered us money? Yeah, and I guess it worked. This guy entered the sprawl and began his quest for the perfect hat. He went to a bunch of hat stores. Okay, but none of them had the type of hat he was searching for. <laughs> but rest assured, he will not relent until the top of his head is restored to its former glory. That's what Adam says. W. Yup. <laughs> okay, this person is very angry. They returned home and said that she had not completed her mission due to the meddling of a small human at the gate of the sprawl. That would be Lil. Oops. Disappointed inconvenience. The person immediately oofed the envoy. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yikes. Oh, wait. They managed to stay standing despite the stab. Okay. W. So, I guess that was a W. Uh-oh. Wait. So, wait. The powerful person is going to travel soon to the sprawl to deal with this in person. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to deal with that later. I'll deal with that later. Hey, yo. Respect. Denied entry. The fake Sir Beverly took off his fake armor, got back on his fake horse, and went home to his real hut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, this person. This person encountered a guard patrol outside the city gates and attempted to pickpocket them quietly, which she didn't do successfully because she was singing. <laughs> In jail, it took her five minutes, bro, to be locked up. Bro. Nice, dude. It says we got the good ending. Let's go. Yeah. Oh.